Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to 2022. May it be significantly better than the previous two years. So as you can see by the title of this video, I am still hanging strong in my 2021 Pan That palette, which is Tiny Pans. This was a project that was being done in collaboration with the Pantastic Ladies. And as you have probably seen from other people's intro videos for their 2022 Pan That palette, it's not tiny. <laughs> Um, I am part of the online Facebook group, so I have actually known for a little while what their theme is going to be for this year. And I thought to myself, you know what, Ashley, if you cannot manage to pan this teeny tiny itty bitty little thing in the course of a year, there is no way that you are going to be able to do this challenge. And to be honest, I'm okay with that. Um, I am continuing on because I am determined to get this used up and out of my collection because I honestly just want to prove to myself that I can. However, Pan That Palette is just not my favorite thing to be doing. I much prefer Pan Those Eyeshadows. I feel like it gives me a lot more flexibility. It gives me the ability to kind of cycle through the palettes that I have in my collection and it just gives me a lot more creative avenue. I also found that trying to combine those two projects last year just did not work for me and how I personally pan. So even if it hadn't been what was chosen, I probably still would not have been participating and it's pretty likely that I won't participate in the future, but I'm not going to roll it out because God, the Fantastic Ladies come up with some outstanding themes and I honestly just can't help myself oftentimes. So we're going to be doing something a little bit different this year as well. Originally I had thought I wanted to jump into Pan in Every Palette and up until quite recently that had been what I was planning to introduce alongside uh, my Pan That Palette progress. But when I really started thinking about it, if I were to just choose, for instance, four eyeshadow palettes or a combination of eyeshadow and face palettes and things like that, plus bringing in five or six eyeshadows in my pan, those eyeshadows, then all of a sudden I have eight, nine, ten eyeshadow palettes and they're not all getting used. So I decided not to do that and instead I am going to be building a focus eyeshadow palette with you guys every single month with no real goals attached to it. I really want to get more use out of my single eyeshadows and so I thought, you know what, let's sit down, let's build a palette together just for me to use throughout the course of the month and then next month we'll do a new one. I'm not trying to hit pan, I don't have usage goals, I don't have any goals other than to enjoy my makeup. I think that that is really going to be my motto in 2022 alongside of my painting journey is just to enjoy it more and that means taking on fewer projects and being a little bit more mindful of the projects that I'm getting into. So very long introduction. You guys are like, come on Ashley, wrap it up. Let's see the palette. So let's go ahead and pop in a picture of what the palette looked like last month. And then this is what the palette is looking like today. So there are some changes, but they are not that significant. I'll be very honest, I was making a hard push at the end of December, or throughout December rather, towards especially my Pan Those eyeshadows and some of the eyeshadows that I had going in other projects. And this really fell by the wayside. Also, I was traveling. I was fortunate enough to be able to see my parents for the first time in two years. And I did not take this with me when I went on that trip. I just took uh, my Natasha Denona palette, the face, eye, and glam palette, and just worked very basically off of that. So this has not gotten very much use at all. In fact, I am wearing it today wearing that copper and gold for the first time since our last update. So let's talk numbers. So the first, um, I, I also redid all of my numbers. So we're only gonna be talking about the eyeshadows that actually have something in them. So the first one that, had, that I am working on that has shadow in it is the second pan. I only used that once. So you're not gonna see a significant change in it. 
The third shade in this palette I used three times, um, but it is one that I, at the moment, have only been really using as an inner corner highlight, so the progress on that is going to go much slower because of that. The sixth shadow, which I think is the one that you'll probably see more change in. I used that twice, but when I use that, I've been wearing it all over the lid and then typically layering something else with it. So that one I think you'll be able to see a little bit of change in. The seventh shade I mentioned, I'm wearing it for the first time today, so that only has one use out of it. The 11th shade I have used twice, so I think you'll be able to see some progress in that one. And then the final shade in this palette, again, I've only used once, and that is today. So not seeing a ton of progress there, but it is what it is. And um, I am hoping that I'll be able to give this some more use while I'm not in some other projects yet. So we all know that I am going to be doing some other projects. Their introductions won't come until later in the month. So I'm really going to try to focus a lot on some of the neglected palettes that I have in ongoing projects. Now we also have a couple of other tiny pans that I've been working on. One of which is this teeny tiny, teeny tiny lipstick right here. This is a liquid lipstick from Bobbi Brown. It is in their crushed liquid lip formula, which is so nice. It's very comfortable. The color is really nice. It's in the shade Smoothie Move. But today is the first time that I have worn it since our last update. So huh, no visual progress there. And thank you so much to everyone who commented on the last update video that said, yes, keep on with the tiny products. They're so much fun. So I did choose another teeny tiny product. This is a moisturizer from Pretty Petite. Is that the name? Petite and Pretty. I got that backwards. It is their 9021 Glow and it is the, their Fresh Start Moisturizer. So this, if it is not an empty by the next update, I have to give in my panning card because that should really only take a couple of uses. I've honestly never used anything from Pretty and Petite. No, Petite and Pretty. Eventually I'll get that right. But I do see it often at Ulta, but only during the holidays. So I'm not really sure what goes on with that brand, but we're gonna give that a go. All right, so now comes the fun of sitting down with all of my single eyeshadows, going through them all and putting together a palette. I think I'm going to try to shoot for a 12 pan palette. Um, again, just as an accompaniment. So let's go ahead and play in my shadows. All right, so here we have my ridiculous stack of magnetic palettes, and I really do need to go in and organize them, but that is not the project for today. So this is, I think, the empty palette that I'm gonna be using. I think I really wanna go for much more neutral because I feel like I'm just a little bit burnt out on color at the moment. <laughs> so let's just go ahead and start looking through my collection and building a 12 pan palette. of our past Feelings not always Keeping us close but it's strange now Dreams holding us closer Meadows of our youth A hundred and seven days They're calling it backwards Our dreams holding us closer
focus build your own eyeshadow palette for the month of January and don't you love how I said you know what? I want to go with something very basic I feel really burnt out on color and then somehow I managed to end up putting together a grungy rainbow palette uh, I'm very excited. I'm very excited about this. Now, you'll notice that I do have the one shadow here in the corner. That's just a, a matte cream color. I feel like that's a good thing just to have in here, so I'm not counting that as part of the, the Build Your Own palette itself, but um, I, I am just going to have it in here kind of hanging around off in the corner. So let's talk about the shadows that I chose. So the first one that I chose is from Adept Cosmetics, and it is in the shade ACM24. I chose from a kind of cannibalized Makeup Forever eyeshadow palette. I chose the shade M536. And I'm going in columns, by the way. I chose from Menagerie Cosmetics the shade Animal Kingdom. I am so looking forward to playing with that shade. Very excited about it. I chose Bel Air from ColourPop Cosmetics. I chose the shade Chamomile from Cleona. Another one that I'm so excited to play with is from Terra Moons. It's in the shade Mirage. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous multi-chrome. Oh, <laughs> so excited. Um, I chose the shade Haystack from Sydney Grace. From Adept Cosmetics, I chose ACS27. I also pulled out from Glaminatrix Cosmetics the shade Botanical. From Sydney Grace, I have Woodland. From Sydney Grace, I have the shade Bountiful. And then finally, from Sydney Grace, I have the shade Acorn. So I think that's going to be really, really fun to play with. I'm going to try, I'm going to try to take photos of any looks that I create using this Build Your Own palette and try to include them in next month's video. I am also going to try to make sure that I am posting all of this to Instagram as well because I really want to showcase and highlight some of these um, brands because most of these come from indie brands and they just, they steal my heart. I love them. So that is what we are going to be playing with. I would love your feedback. I always mention that you guys give me such great support, but also some amazing ideas. So let me know, what do you think of this format? What do you think of what we are doing this year? And if you have any advice or recommendations, tell me down in the comments. I would love to hear it. As always, everything that I'm wearing will be linked in the description box below. And if you have not yet subscribed, I hope that you'll consider doing so. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I hope that you're having an amazing day and I will see you next time. Bye.